welcome. And we've got some really interesting chart setting up. Obviously, we've got Fed Day tomorrow, so uh, we had a holding pattern on this this down daily chart here on Friday. That was Sunday's opening little bar there, and then we popped up into this area of resistance. We engulfed Thursday and Friday's price action. So at the moment, I would suggest 840 is a good pivot area to buy. I will be buying that intraday if we see that level there, selling some and then getting a stop to break even if we come down here and come up and hold. Okay, so 127 extension up here and a star up here to test. So we're above the 8, not above the 20 EMA up there. So it's not clear. You know, a lot of. Um, yeah, we're in, in the channel here, a lot of sideways to, to choppy action here as we just sit, start to sort of play around and look to see where we are in the, um, when we come into the Fed announcement. Really interested in this pound yen. Uh, we are below the daily 8 with the 21 EMA just creeping around underneath us. This is a huge level here with 775, which we're just narrowly above at the moment. And uh, you can see I've got an alarm set here at 750 in case we drop down there. I'm, I'd, I'd like to see if we hold at 750 if we get down there and I'm interested to buy. I have got one lot here. We dipped into um, some weak inflation data, <clears throat> but 775, 778 held. So I bought some here and just looking to see if we can hold, move sideways eventually, in either today or tomorrow, break the 840 level. So that's interesting, and the pound US dollar is shaky, very, very shaky. So, under this trend line, and, and just looking to see where we can go from here. So, massive support down here at 250, which we touched on Thursday, was it? And a lot of resistance up here on the weekly pivot. So, where do we go from here? Well, that's anyone's guess at this stage. It's not my guess. So, I'm just got a little position, a small position in the pound yen, and just sitting aside this one here just to see if this area here can actually hold. I've closed above here today, and that bodes well tomorrow. And likewise, close below, and that does not. Is bodes well for the shorts for the bears. Okay, and so let's have a look at the euro. Euro is very very resilient and therefore hard to trade at the moment. Uh, I shorted a couple of times last week with these red bars and it held this key 725 area and here we are at 763. So start breaking down below 750 and I'll look to get short again otherwise I'll stand aside. Euro Yen is very interesting the 60 minute chart but um, yeah, not great at the moment. So if we close above so 185, close above this area here and I would start to get long Coming in, we keep holding this hammer level down here, this support level. Got a little bit of a reversal bar up here. Uh, I, I, overall, I think we may want to. This could be a sort of a hangman bar here. We may want to see lower levels at least come into contact with this 140. Uh, if that's the case, then the pound yen might head south as well. So really, yeah, low volume, sideways action. Not don't get too committed to this market because this is not great. Pound of the dollar holding up, losing that this week so far. Got bought, and Euro Aussie is the same. So. A nice bounce yesterday, but um, a lot of hesitation as we go into today's US session. Oil is sideways to weak. That's the euro. This is the FTSE after Monday's close and Tuesday's euro session. So we've
come into this weekly pivot and held. So if we break today's high, it would look as if we could be seeing that 65, 90, 66 into the close of the year. A quick look at oil. The oil followed the down to the upside yesterday, but only crashed into a key area of resistance. So could roll over here. So invent and Fed Day tomorrow. So yeah, this is just this is just a box. So I am steering clear. Okay, so pretty much oh, let's just look at the US dollar yen. Because I think I, I overall I do like these yen pairs. I mean if if there's no easing tapering, sorry, uh and this level holds, then I can see this penetrating and running up to 104, 105. Um 60 minute charts trap between the 50 and the 2 and EMA at the moment. So if you see some lows, you might want to take a small position, um, but don't give it too much room and see if that works and add to it if it works. Otherwise, just steer clear. Alright, so stocks wise, I did do some scanning today, but just again, uh, I'm, I will report on a possible good setup later in the week. But um, yeah, I like this Premier Foods. Uh, I think the next year, I think the banking sector is going to do really well. Um, where are we? B Sky B. I was I, B Sky B was on my watch list for a buy, but that's not. Uh, let's see if this 795 holds. That could be rolling over. Okay, so trading very light in this last week of 2013. I will open the room for the Fed announcement so more details on that to follow and take care and take it easy.